Now it says it's live. Hi, everyone. I'm Erin Floyd, Special Assistant to Women's Basketball here at the University of Texas, broadcasting to you live from my office in the North End Zone. Welcome, everybody. Nice to have you guys here today. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about our potluck. It's our third annual potluck, and it is by far my favorite event of the entire year. Um, not only because we get to kick off basketball season with our fans and get to visit, but we get to eat and I like that. So um, just want to give you a little bit of background about our potluck. Uh, last year we had a tremendous turnout. We had phenomenal food. Everybody brought a little something that was their own. My favorite dish personally was the Rice Krispie Treats because they're my favorite dessert ever and I probably ate about half of them. So if somebody could bring those back again, I would be okay with that. Um, but I'm really excited um, because we've had so many RSVPs and we've had a lot of people interested in joining our family. And I'm really excited about that because that's really what our program is all about. We pride ourselves on being a family and having a family atmosphere. And what a better way to be a family than to sit down and break bread and visit with each other. So that's what we really try to do at the beginning of the year with this event. And we're so excited, again, to have everybody there. And I especially am excited to try this Japanese fruit pie that our friend Gary Tucker is bringing for us. So can't wait to do that, Gary. Look forward to seeing you there. Um, um, I wanted to personally invite all of you and ask each of you to bring a friend, ask people to get involved, come out, support women's basketball, and it's so easy to do. All you have to do is RSVP to fastbreakclub at athletics.utexas.edu. Send them your name, send them who you're bringing and what you'd like to bring to eat to share with us all, and we will have a phenomenal time. This event is being held at our practice facility in, Cooley, uh, in the Cooley Pavilion. Uh, we're going to put down some covering on the floor because we've outgrown our little multi-purpose multi room. So we're going to have a huge crowd. It's going to be great visiting with everybody. All of our players will be there. We will have an open practice from 2.30 to 5.30 before our potluck dinner that all of you are welcome to attend. This is something that we do every year as well. We kind of kick off with a scrimmage against our practice players to get our girls in game mode. And um, it's a good way for y'all to get a sneak peek into what's been going on in practice and what the first game is gonna look like. So again, please come out, please be a part of our family and, it's a wonderful event. I can't wait to see everybody there. Um, does anybody have any questions about the potluck that I can answer? Hey, Aaron, what's on the menu? What's on the menu? That's a great question. So far, we've had a lot of people RSVP that they want to bring various pasta salads and desserts. Again, I'm going to put a little plug in for Rice Krispie Treats again. Somebody please bring those. Um, the Japanese fruit pie. And we always provide the main dish. So we're going to have some chicken fingers and possibly some quesadillas there for you guys to dive in. But the side dishes are homemade, home cooking from our fans. And you can't really go wrong with that. So we're excited to see what turns up. Will the players be there? Yes, all of our players will be there. There'll be a short time after when practice ends um, to when the potluck begins, because I'm not sure that you guys would want to eat smelling them after they're <laughs> done playing. So we're going to give them the opportunity to just shower and go downstairs and get cleaned up for you guys. But they will all be there, and they will all be taste testing all of your foods. So make sure you bring your best recipes. Do I have to bring something to come? You do not have to bring something to come. Um, this is an event that we just want everybody to come and be a part of. It's about camaraderie and about building um, a relationship between our fans and everyone. Um, but we do ask that you do bring something just so that everybody has something to eat and there's a taste of you. And it's a good way to bring your personality to, to our program. Be a part of it. Is there a program? 
is yeah. their program. Yeah, like is there a formal program or we just come in and chow down? We kind of, Here's what usually happens. We'll come in and the line is immediately, everybody's interested in the food because we're always excited about who's bringing what this year and what to try. Everybody kind of, the plates are very eclectic. There's a little bit of everything on everybody's plate. So we'll go in and we'll eat. And usually after everybody's eaten, it'll be about 15 or 20 minutes. Everybody will be sitting down enjoying their food. And then the players will come up and they'll go through the food line as well and hopefully you guys will save some seats for them at your tables so they can come and visit with you. Um, but we'll visit with the players and catch up for a little bit. And then, of course, we will, um, Coach Aston will stand up and address the crowd and make sure that everybody introduces themselves and that you guys know each of our players, their names, where they're from, what they want to do, what they love about Texas, and the same with the staff as well. What else? Oh, what time to start? And in. Oh, it starts, <laughs> like I said, we have an open practice from 2.30 to 5.30, and then we will go upstairs to the multi-purpose room in Cooley Pavilion at 6 p.m., and that's when we'll start with food service. And it ends whenever your bellies are full. What happens if I don't RSVP? If you don't have RSVP, you are more than welcome to come. Um, but we, like I said, we are expanding our space. So it, space, I mean, we will have space, but we would love for you to come. If you don't have RSVP, that would be the best case scenario if you could let us know that you'll be attending. But you, it is open, so you are able to come if you do not have RSVP. What's the best thing you ate last year? The Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> I mean, they were so good. I mean, it's not, okay. The other thing was uh, there was a pasta salad there that was just phenomenal. And forgive me, whoever brought it, but it was wonderful. And if you could bring that back again, that would be great as well. <laughs> <laughs> there, oh, there were also, my favorite part was there were uh, longhorn jellos that were molded in the shape of longhorns. I don't know if you guys have seen those, but those are awesome. That was my favorite part. It was orange jello in the shape of a longhorn. And you really can't go wrong when you're in the shape of a longhorn. So very excited about that. That was really awesome. Will there be alcohol in the joint? No, unfortunately, this is an event with our student athletes and uh, it's not something that we really promote within our program. Um, so there will be no alcohol. Got asked because there are people who will wonder if they're gonna get to get their drink on, Erin. I understand. And if you wanna have a happy hour, you are more than welcome to leave after your belly is full and go on wherever your little heart desires. All right, if there are no more questions, Erin, how about going through the who, what, why, when, and where one more time, and then we'll sign off. All right, again, we are having the third annual women's basketball potluck today, or Tuesday, October Coach 21st. Is requesting chocolate. Oh, oh. <laughs> Coach Aston is requesting chocolate. This just in. Um, so make sure that we have brownies or cookies or something of that sort there for her. She is a chocoholic. Um, again, Tuesday, October 21st, uh, 2.30 to 5.30, open practice, scrimmage against our practice players. Y'all are all welcome to come to that. 6 p.m., we'll start food service for our potluck in Cooley Pavilion. We are excited to have you guys. Thank you so much for listening, asking questions. Again, please come and be a part of our family. Welcome.